testing, testing. How about now? Lauren's testing me, everyone. Sorry. We got you now. Also, mm. hi, people who can hear me through the video. This is Lauren. I have Lauren here with me on the walkie. Thank you, Lauren. Um, I forgot to turn the mic on, everybody. Hopefully now you can hear us. That was my bad. I forgot you to turn the mic on. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Woohoo! Hey, thanks, Shannon. Hi. Thanks, everybody. Welcome to our returning friends and fans and family members. And uh, a huge warm welcome to anyone joining us for the first time. I am Andrea, here live at Catskill Animal Sanctuary. And I have the camera flipped right now for dramatic effect. Because in one moment, I will be flipping the view so you can see who is on the other side of this camera. Um, we have two very special guests today, so I shall introduce you to them now. Hello, everyone! <laughs> Here we have Cameron, and some of you will recognize Dozer. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Cameron. Um, I am the new programs and office assistant here at Catskill Animal Sanctuary, and I'm so excited uh, to be joining you on Virtual Sanctuary today. This here is my friend Dozer, who I'm sure many of you know, uh, who has delightfully, delightfully chosen a shady tree on this very hot day. And we're hoping he stays there. <laughs> yeah. He has he changed location two times, but we're hoping he this is his, his last location. Oh, Cameron's just watching those horns, like I told her. He like <laughs> it is the peak fly season for <laughs> our cows and horses, so they obviously will itch their flies. And of course, with those big, beautiful horns, we always want to make sure that we're an arm's length away because they will, <laughs> they will toss their head to try to move those pesky flies. So Cameron's doing a good job with that. Um, and yeah, this is my new friend Cameron. She, you might have talked to her if you have um, tried to schedule a tour or had any um, booking questions. Cameron has been handling things sure has. Um, for tours and programs. <laughs> so. She's already talked to a bunch of you on the phones or via email. We are so excited to have her supporting all of our existing programs and programs in the future. And uh, so um, I started July 15th. Cameron, what was your start date? You My remember? first day was August 2nd. Like, you know, wow. The first so week of August. She's a veteran now. Yeah. Um, practically a whole month down. Um, and we are very happy to have Cameron here. And Cameron chose to do her virtual sanctuary with Dozer and friends. Um, why did you pick Dozer, Cameron? All right, well, I picked Dozer um, because Dozer was one of the first animals I met my first week here. He was actually um, the resident that I took my staff photo with on my second, third day, maybe. Um, and to be honest, I mean, I, as many of you and many of the staff, really love all animals, um, but it wasn't until I visited the sanctuary for the first time as a guest in 2019 um, that I kind of had um, a really awesome uh, wow moment about cows in particular. Um, I think it has a lot to do with their sheer volume um and then in what perhaps is vast contrast to most people their gentleness um which may come as a shock and it does to most people um that they are just like these like amazing beautiful giant gentle creatures and dozer is of course no exception he's an old guy he's about 13 years old um and he originally um, was, he was born on a veal farm and then was sold to a petting zoo, and then he ended up here. Uh, and he's lived here almost his entire life now, his 13 years. And I think we, we, <laughs> we locked eyes on the day of my staff photo. He actually walked up while I was eating lunch on my first day, and that's when I met him. And 
and I was like, holy crap. <laughs> um, they're really, it's it's that kind of moment, I think, if you've ever been here to visit us, or you've met Dozer, or Rudy, or, oh, he's just gonna scratch his, maybe his side. Cameron's just, yeah. um, yeah, if, if you, I don't know. He's good. Are you itchy on that side, bud? No, I think he wanted a scratch <laughs> on his head. Yeah, that could be too. <laughs> there we go. Throw it on the other side. <laughs> that was good job. Um, so if you've ever been here before, um, visiting us, and you've met any of our wonderful gentlemen cows, it is really um, an amazing experience. A lot of people fall in love with Dozer or Rudy, his companion, um, or Tucker in the backfield, and it's a really unique experience because a lot of our um, <laughs> Where's the Cameron's fly? on horn. Where's the fly? Horn watch. Where's the um, fly? <laughs> doing a good job watching those horns. He would never, of course, intentionally hurt anyone. He's as gentle as can, gentle can be. Where's the fly? Um, <laughs> as cows are um, but they do swing their heads a lot to get those pesky flies so um, just like any of you who've met dozer in person it's always good to watch those big old horns <laughs> when they're swinging to, to try to get rid of those flies but yeah it's a really magical experience because um, it's rare um, actually it's rare that we get to meet um, males especially um, but even females um, once they're past um, their prime age for milk production, um, are often sent away to um, be um, used and exploited for their for their flesh. Sadly, um, so while female cows get to live a little bit longer, they certainly don't typically live out their full lives like they would here at sanctuary. Um, and so when you meet our boys like Tucker and um, Rudy and those are here it's especially um <laughs> you check things out big man you're gonna come say hi to us as long as you don't swap it's the like, I'm ready ipad with your horns, we're good um but he um it's really special because like cameron said um he started originally um on a veal farm which is just code for um you know he was taken away at a very very young age sometimes only days old um from his mama um and then also ultimately, um, within a very short um, lifespan, um, would have been um, used and taken, his life taken for his flesh. So um, it is a unique experience to be able to meet these boys that grow up to be 13, 15, um, and live out <laughs> their natural lifespan. Where are we going? Just saying hi, but Cameron's doing a really good job of being respectful of this space. He's a big boy, so it is just a general, <laughs> cow safety rule to just when they walk to just let them <laughs> let them walk and let them come to you right which is exactly what Cameron is modeling so very well um, <laughs> because if you can see he is big he's a big boy um, though he is only about half the size of our boy Tucker um, who is now at about almost 3,000 pounds um, so he's still he's still a very big boy our dozer but uh, so Cameron is very being um, very respectful of his, his space, just, you know, watching those toes, of course, like we tell all of you when you come. Um, they wouldn't mean to hurt us, but of course, if they stepped on you with that amount of body weight, it might hurt your toe, you know, considerably. <laughs> so she's doing an awesome job practicing her cow safety. Um, cow and, safety. Yeah. Um, it's important. They're big. They're very gentle and very, very sweet, but they don't realize that, you know, um, their, their hooves would probably hurt our feet a little bit. Um, so, um, have you ever, um, really met any cows before, um, coming here, Cameron? Or um, do you have any other cow experiences or was this your I had, first? I had never met a cow, especially not like this. Um, before my visit to the sanctuary in 2019, like I said, as a guest, I came here, I met Tucker. I remember Tucker, and I met Benjamin and Blossom, who now live over on 32. Um, and I distinctly, distinctly remember that, like I said, because I kind of had a, a, a an awakening or a, a sort of a wow moment um, about cows. <laughs> um, at that time, I was already uh, vegan, but... I, it, it still, it still just amazed me. So that was really the first time I had ever gotten like up close and personal with 
a cow. That's or really meaningful. most of the animals here at the sanctuary. Um, I, I've lived in suburbia and cities my entire life, so. Yeah, it's, it's also a really reaffirming experience for vegans who, yeah. you know, keep actively keep these animals out of harm's way and then, but actually don't get the experience to bond with them and meet them and, and meet all of them and, and learn about their unique and individual personalities. So he really loves Cameron. He's he like, more scratches, please. But of course, she's just trying to be respectful of those big old horns as he's walking her away for some more. <laughs> Scritches. Do you see who's coming up behind us? I know! I think we're going to have another special guest now that we're out here. I think we're going to have Mr. Rudy come <laughs> say hello. Rudy's getting jealous, I think, and probably also wants Cameron's attention a bit. So we might let Dozer just go do his thing, Cameron. You want to go yeah, say hi to Rudy, I who's will. patiently waiting beneath the tree for you? Oh! <laughs> Maybe she'll get a kiss. Rudy's a bit of a... Dozer, I'll be back. Rudy's a bit of a flirt. Like, he will kiss you. Um, his tongue is like a, it's like a cat's, if anyone has ever gotten a cat kiss, only quite a bit larger. Um, <laughs> Rudy's another one of our older gentlemen cows, which oh. is really just an honor. Did anyone catch the kiss? Or did you get a kiss I, already? I did. Oh, no. I don't know. I think it was on camera. But, nice, again, very nice special book. experience to meet an older, yeah, very scratchy kisses. Does very anybody scratchy. watching know why their tongues are so scratchy? I don't think I know. All right. That's a good question, then. Let's see if anybody watching knows. Does All anybody right, know why, teacher their, Andrea. why their tongues are so scratchy, kind of like a cat's? No comments so far. Oh, see? Oh, my gosh! Kisses, sweet man. Thank you, mister. Oh, big sweet man. <laughs> so they have those big scratchy tongues because they eat so much grass that they then like curl, they curl their tongue around the grass and it helps them to pull it, pull it up. I mean, I, oh, I guess I knew that. I guess I didn't <laughs> combine those two facts together. No, yeah. I don't know. I think we stumped the watchers too, Cameron. So. Nice. At least I think that's what I read. That was a good. Uh, <laughs> that was a good teacher moment. Um, I like a good fun fact. So yeah, there is our our other big man, giving Cameron all his love. He wanted love and attention too. Oh, big man. Yes, oh, did. So, oh my gosh, oh, my more goodness. kisses. All you the are kisses. You are hamming it up for the camera. I know he really is just like me, please. What? <laughs> Sweet. He's so sweet. You are hamming it up. He is you so are. sweet. Yeah, it makes it easier for them to grab it and rip it up, I think, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah. So Cameron is, has fallen in love with our cows, as I'm sure many of you have that have come to see us. Speaking of visiting us, we do still have some tour slots available for this weekend. So if anybody would like to come see us on Saturday or Sunday this week and take a tour, um, you would just go to casanctuary.org and click on the link that says visit. And there's the Rudy fans. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Rudy fans. A lot oh, of yeah. Dozer fans. I am also a Rudy fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a fan of you, too. All those kisses. My goodness. So come visit kisses. so you can get Rudy kisses. Clearly, yeah, there's come plenty with to us. go around. Come try to get a Rudy kiss out of him. Apparently, he's giving free kisses right now. So hopefully, he'll still have kisses this weekend. <laughs> um, and he uh, he's a big sweetheart. Um, so if you've never met a cow friend, um, highly recommended by us and everyone. It's a really magical experience to meet them up close and personal and maybe get a kiss link camera. Oh my gosh, another or kiss. Or like 20 or... <laughs> or 20 kisses. What'd you have for lunch, Cameron? It must have been good. <laughs> um, orange tofu. Orange tofu. That sounds amazing. <laughs> must be he's like, hmm, essence of orange. <laughs> So, yeah, you can come see us and meet these big, beautiful, big, beautiful boys. Um, and, um, I left my notes, um, but <laughs> um, we do still have some tours available for this weekend. As I said, we'd love to have you here at this picturesque 
um, property here. I'm just gonna give you a little, the, those boys nicely, their toes are looking out on those fields. Um, they picked a very picturesque um, area for us today, but um, you, can, you can come see us for tours and get your cow kisses and also gaze out on this lovely area. There's the brown <laughs> office. Hi, Lauren. That's hey, where Lauren. we left Lauren today. We have a heat advisory. So we're trying to divide and conquer today. We, lo we locked her in and said, don't come out until 10 <laughs> yeah. <a>. yeah, she's <laughs> got a tour. Um, so we're trying to keep her cool for a minute before her tour um, and not out in the sunshine um, for like, you know, the whole the whole time. Um, but yes, it's supposed to, the week, uh, our teammates have said, yeah, I think I saw that it was supposed to be like 73 and cloudy on Saturday and I was so excited. <laughs> I was like, yes, clouds. <laughs> That's sad. And oh my gosh, this is so sweet. So Rudy's giving Cameron more kisses and Dozer's scratching his head on the fence post. <laughs> so we have just the most lovely, adorable things happening right now. Um, and so hopefully it'll be a little bit cooler. Less, not that I like to say I don't like sun, but it it, it is better for the animals too. They tend to prefer to not hide so much when it's a little bit cooler so hopefully some of you can come out and enjoy those the nice weather we do recommend that you book online ahead of time um they do sell yes. out <laughs> the tours do sell out and for safety reasons of course we can't bring 600 people in a cow field um so it is important to get your tickets ahead of time so thank you in advance for that and speaking of thank you oh I know, I know. <laughs> go I for know. it, Cameron. Go for it. We surpassed our goal for the GOAT Games. Ooh. Thank you. Sparkle fingers. We not only met, but surpassed, as Cameron said, our GOAT Games <laughs> goal. That's the GOAT Say Games. Thank you, the right? GOAT Games uh, shimmy there. <laughs> so. Um, we surpassed that goal. Thank you to all of you so much. We seriously couldn't have done it without you. Um, you all helped us so much to donate, to spread the word. Thank you so much to our athletes and activity doers um, for support, for getting a word out there, for doing all your cool activities to try to raise funds that are very needed to keep our animals fed and warm in the winter and with the great... Um, care that they deserve so thank you again so much for helping us to keep them all safe and happy and healthy um it was very exciting when we met that that goal i swear if rudy kisses your face <laughs> well that will just make the virtual sanctuary wouldn't it you rudy, don't have to. i swear I, you don't have to. my heart will enough. my heart wouldn't be able to handle it i don't think <laughs> <laughs> just knock you over with his kisses <laughs> Oh my goodness, they're so drooly. What a way to oh, go down. so sweet. <laughs> um, so, again, thank you so, so much for all of you who have participated, who spread the word, who've donated. Um, and uh, we it's our big fundraiser, and we couldn't continue to keep these wonderful animals safe without every one of you. So, thank you so, so much um, for your support. Um, what else, Cameron? Uh, I left my notes again because everyone watching knows I tend to bring them and then either a goat tries to eat them or a rainstorm happens or we have to move the tripod and uh, then I lose my notes. Um, so, um, but yeah, you can see our family's growing a little bit, right? By humans, yeah. I mean. Um, and we're so happy to have Cameron here with us. Um, starting her Catskill journey um, and very appreciative of all her help so far. Um, so if you do call us or email, um, you will most likely hear back from Cameron herself um, and she will send you some cow kisses via email <laughs> until you can get here from, in person to, <laughs> to come get your own cow kisses. So we'll send you all some virtual cow kisses. Um, and she's been doing an awesome job um, and knows very nice cow manners as well. Uh, that's actually what I've been perfecting in my first four weeks here. 
is just uh, cow kisses. Yeah. I mean, really, what could be more important than learning how and to cow manners. Yeah, uh, accept those lovely cow kisses? Um, and what else? Uh, I don't know. A ask me anything. Ask you anything. Okay. Um. Let's see. Um, uh, uh, do you want to talk about your vegan story or what What other personal info sure. do you want to share with us and your adoring audience? Yeah, okay. I guess I'll just talk a little bit about myself. Yeah. Um, so I am a recent college graduate. Um, She's a child. <laughs> yeah, I'm 23. <laughs> I just turned 23 a few weeks ago. So everyone say ha happy late birthday to me. Woo! And also to Andrea and Lauren, because we're all born um, within like three weeks of each other. I mean, and a few years, but like our, our birthdays are all within like three weeks of each other. We are the we're trio all... of Leos. Yeah, in the programming's office. Oh, there goes Ferg. <laughs> Where's our Ferguson fans? There he is, making his appearance. Sorry. As he always I got does. distracted. <laughs> you always get distracted by Ferguson. I can't help it. He's the love <laughs> of my life. Um, um, what was I saying? Yeah. You so, are Leo. I'm pretty, yeah. Just I'm a Leo birthday. and I'm pretty young. A uh, recent college graduate. Um, what did you study in college? I was an English and theater double major. Um, I still work part time with a theater company that I really love doing. Um, but I obviously am also very, very passionate about um, animal advocacy and welfare um, and have been for a very long time. Been vegan since 2017 and was vegetarian for several years before that. Um, she was during, one of those cool kids that was a vegetarian when she was like 10 years old. Uh, more like since <laughs> 17, but... <laughs> still, still, really cool. That's really cool. That's still, that's still pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, I guess during the pandemic, uh, I had to figure out priorities in terms of jobs and careers, like many do. I kept falling back towards animal advocacy and animal care because that's where my heart was. Um, and that's, in a nutshell, kind of how I ended up here. Um, What's your favorite vegan meal or food? Oh my god. The audience so asked. Oh really? Someone asked that? Yeah. Uh, there's so many. But I know, it's delicious. Everyone asks on, on the weekends, like, how do you do it? Or, you know, isn't it restrictive? And actually, it's, it's so easy now. It's like, do. Yeah, and the delicious. opposite is true. Um, pr probably my favorite food is like tacos or Ooh. burritos. Taco Tuesdays. Guacamole. What do you what I mean, you... I love avocados, so what that's probably make... like my favorite food. What do you make your tacos with? Are you like a tofu person? I'm like a tofu person. Or like a faux crumbles but person? I also do that, yeah, for sure. Um, but I also like, I love tofu. I love just like black beans and like a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, I love, black bean tacos. I love guacamole. So I can literally just eat guacamole so anything. Like with a spoon. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, that's probably like me literally too. my favorite food. Lentils and tacos. That's a good idea. I yeah, don't think exactly. I've ever done that. So I would say like, you know, like Mexican food is like my favorite. Food. Yum. There's like a really great um, Mexican restaurant in Albany where I'm from um, called Margarita City that has a fantastic vegan menu. Really? So good. The one we go to one in Latham, I think they have a vegan menu, and yeah, they have potatoes in their stuff. Um, so good. Now I'm thinking about Mexican food. I know. Earlier, now you're like, hmm. Earlier, uh, Andrew and I were talking about Little Anthony's in Albany, <laughs> which don't even get me started on like. I know vegan pizza. Because like, if we want to talk about vegan junk food, I could talk to oh, you about vegan junk food all day. Definitely. That's the thing. I'm like, all about kale, quinoa, tofu. I love them, but. But oh. there are also so many I mean, delicious junk food items <laughs> and comfort foods yeah. on the planet now. That I it's love, actually hard to decide. Love isn't it? me some vegan junk food. So, <laughs> Little Anthony's is a pizza uh, restaurant in Albany as well that uh, has a wide variety of vegan options, and they are all excellent. I and recommend. it just helps us to. It's so easy to just go to the grocery store so and easy. go to a different aisle and pick up vegan beef crumbles or vegan cheese 
and make your pizza with it um, and make your tacos and leave these wonderful beautiful beings out of the equation altogether so that they can just live their lives here at a sanctuary and you know um not and get them out of this cycle of exploitation so um try it out if you haven't yet you know go to any grocery store um and check it out see what's out there there's so many delicious um non-dairy options now oats i bet we got some oat milk fans. i'm an oat milk fan uh, so before i worked here i worked at starbucks for four years so if you ever need any uh vegan tips for starbucks i got you good to know email email me <laughs> <laughs> uh they just came out with a new apple crisp uh, ice macchiato. If you get it with a non-dairy alternative, it's entirely vegan. Wow, good so, to know. Coffee go. pro tips. Um, and it's so delicious. It tastes like apple pie. Um, I just had it the other day. That but sounds amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, so get it with so easy uh, now. Almond, uh, almond oat or soy or coconut is what they have. More kisses. And uh, my favorite's oat, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, there's so many alternatives now that you can go to Starbucks, you can go get ice cream, you can have your cheese and leave these wonderful, wonderful, um, and bless, bless you. you, and you, and leave them out of it all together so that they can continue to give Cameron kisses and you kisses when you come to visit us <laughs> and we can continue to live a life that does them no harm while still having all the tasty amazing foods that we love um so check it out the next time you're at any grocery store see what they've got for non-dairy they've got yogurt they've got ice cream they've got sour cream all vegan sour cream mostly for my tasty tacos. Um, <laughs> so if you've got a favorite you know let us know tell a friend spread the word so we can keep these beauties happy healthy and living till these nice ripe older ages to be seniors like everyone wants to do to live out their their golden years so and rudy will give you a kiss for doing that so you can come see him and get a kiss and he will thank you for trying your non-dairy alternatives this <laughs> weekend <laughs> um so i don't know and we're about at times. So we have about a minute left. So thank you all so much for joining. Um, thank, you. thank you for co for coming to our regular viewers and and a big warm welcome to anybody who's new today. We'd love to have you back. We hope you enjoyed meeting Cameron and visiting with our gentlemen Dozer and Rudy. And we are again incredibly thankful for all of your support, especially during our big old fundraiser for the goat games. Thank you so um, much. We couldn't have done it without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Come see us soon. Get your tickets online. Book a tour. And thanks again for all your support. And grab a non-dairy cheese or ice cream <laughs> or a pizza or all the things. Or tacos. <laughs> or <Buck> tacos. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye, Rudy. Thanks, everybody. See you next week. Or maybe this weekend. Come see us in person. Woohoo! Thanks, everybody. Bye. Oh, yeah. Finish. Bye, everyone. Bye. Much love.